I am Anil Kumar and here is a challenge questions for my students. They are now preparing for their final exam. The question here is, given an equilateral triangle ABC with side length of 10 cm each, determine the area of similar triangle DEF where DA is to AB equals to 3 is to 2. Now at the end of the session, you have learned about coordinate geometry, you have learned about trigonometry, you have learned about similar triangles. So I have combined these uh, concepts and given you a question. I like you to pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestion. So let's begin with equilateral triangle ABC. So we are given two triangles. Let us say that is the equilateral triangle ABC. Now let me write down ABC here. So A, B, and C. And then we have another triangle which is has the side ratio of 3 is to 2. So the bigger triangle, right? So let me make a bigger triangle here. And that triangle is also equilateral. Since both are equilateral, they should be similar, right? I don't even have to write that they are similar triangles because both are equilateral triangles. So have same angles of 60 degrees each, right? So we have DEF here. What we are also given here is that the side length for the equilateral triangle ABC is 10. So it is 10 on each side, right? 10 centimeters. Okay, so 10 centimeters each. Now you need to determine area of similar triangle DEF where DE is to AB is 3 is to 2. So what we are given here is that DE divided by AB is 3 divided by 2, right? So that means about 1.5, right? 3 divided by 5 or DE, each side is equal to 1.5 times AB. Since AB is 10, it should be 15. So these sides are 15 each. So therefore we get DE equals to 15 centimeters, right? Now the question here is, Determine area of similar triangle DEF where DE is to AB, the side length. Okay, so sometimes we may write like this, the length of the segment DE is to AB is 3 is to 2. That means it is one and a half times longer sides, right? So obviously this is 60 degrees each since both are equilateral triangles. That is the situation. You need to find the area of bigger triangle. Right. So what you could do is, you could actually find area of smaller triangle and since the ratio is uh, 1.5 times, so area of the bigger triangle should be equals to 1.5 square times area of smaller triangle. That could be one concept, correct? So we get kind of an idea of how to solve it. Now the question here is, how to find area of equilateral triangle? Since we do know the base, but we don't know the height. To find the height, we can have two strategies. Here the altitude will always bisect the base. So the sides will be 5 and 10. Let's work with the smaller triangle first. In that case, let's say this perpendicular is BP. In that case, BP should be square of BP square should be equal to hypotenuse square, which is 10 square minus 5 square. You get the idea, right? So that is how we can find BP. So the perpendicular or height of the triangle is equals to square root of this number. And in our case, it will be 100 plus 25. And when you solve it, 125, you can write this as equal to 5 square root 3, right? So that is what you get, 25 times 3. 5 square root 3. That is how you can find BP. Another way you could find BP, the uh, height of the triangle of equilateral triangle is by using special triangles, right? So let me make a special triangle here. So that is a reminder of how to find the height. In a special triangle, the ratios, if this is 60 degrees, right? And that is 90. Then the ratios of the sides is 1 is 2 is 2 square root 3. So the height of the triangle is square root 3 times this, which is half of that. So 5 times square root 3. That is an alternate way of doing it, right? So you could have used special triangle and found it. But 
Since we have learned many things now, we could use any one of them. Now the area of triangle ABC is how much? Area of triangle ABC is half base. Base is how much? Let me write base and height first. Okay. So we have areas half base is from A to C, which is 10. And height is 5 square root of 3. So that becomes our area. And that could be written as 5 times 5, 25 square root 3. Centimeters square, of course. Once we know area of our smaller triangle, bigger triangle is 1.5 times. And so we say area of triangle DEF is equals to 1.5 square, square of that number, times the area of smaller triangle, which is this, right? And now you can use calculator and figure it out. So it is 1.5 square and then times 25 and then times square root of 3. So the exact value, well, it turns into decimals. Let us write this 97.42 or approximately equals to 97.4 centimeter square. So that becomes the area of the big triangle DEF, right? Some of you, well, you could have done this also. Once you know that the sides are given to us, you can drop a perpendicular here, do all the calculations for bigger triangle, knowing fully well that these two sides will be equal and each will be 7.5 centimeter long, correct? So you can find this. This side will be how much? 7.5 times square root 3. Remember that, but that's critical. Whenever you're talking about equilateral triangle, think about the special triangle. It helps to solve the question and it's kind of fast, right? So you could adopt this method and that is how I have this in my list of challenge uh, questions since here we are applying different concepts learned and there are multiple ways of doing the same thing and that probably is a very fast way of getting the right answer. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.